Hi, I'm Oksana and I'm very excited about today because my husband and I will be doing some improvements to, to our kitchen. Uh, currently we have this ugly looking um, green painted wall behind me, as you can see. And we're going to install the peel and stick um, tile that we got from the tile club. It's a great color made of vinyl and it also has some aluminium um, elements to it, which it looks very beautiful, very stylish, modern and very cool looking. So I'm very excited about this part. Uh, the tile comes uh, in, the, in the box uh, with about 10 sheets in the box and it's all individually wrapped like that. Every, one, every tile has um, uh, the instructions in the back. So um, you can just read them yourself and see how uh, this needs to be installed. I have uh, spoken with the Tile Club customer service and they're really nice people. They helped me out uh, figuring out how many tiles I need to uh, cover the area of my kitchen. And they have also suggested to get an extra piece um, just um, in case I have um, made a wrong cut or um, I need an extra, you know, small space to cover up. So because these are easy to cut and you can even use like individual pieces of that, it's really good to have an extra one. My husband and I will be installing the tiles directly onto the wall. Uh, since it's peel and stick, we don't really need to prep the wall. The, the wall. Uh, we only will need to wipe it um, or actually wash it with the soapy water to make sure there is no grease, there is no dirt uh, from the previous use of the wall and um, we'll need to give it about an hour to dry. And I also want to mention that we have discussed with the, uh, with the customer service of the Tile Club that it's totally uh, fine to install the tile behind the, uh, the stove. And um, I won't be doing this because I already have a backsplash that is here. But if you don't, feel free to do that. The only uh, thing to keep in mind is that um, the tile um, on the wall needs to be about two inches apart from any appliances that release heat. I will be using some tools. Um, um, the best part about this tile is that I won't need any heavy duty tools. I won't need the saw. I won't need anything that is hard to operate. All we will be using is pretty much a ruler and a very sharp industrial knife. All right, I think we're ready to start the work. We're very excited to improve our kitchen uh, with this cool looking tile. And I uh, will show you a little bit of the process of how we are doing this. And I'm very excited to see the final look. All right, so I, after I, I measured, I uh, drew a straight line on where I need it to be. I take a sharp knife and I do the actual cut. After cutting, completing the cut, my husband took some sandpaper and he is trimming the edges so they look smooth and straight. As I, as I mentioned before, my husband helped me to cut a straight line and let's see how it's gonna look on the wall. It's beautiful. So now we're taking the second piece and it's supposed to go there, but now it doesn't match because we need to cut this part and there is another metal one so my husband will be on it to help me again. So my husband has finished uh, this part and a little bit of the space needs to be filled by the little triangles that he is, has cut and is going to insert in there.
personal again. So it's been a few days since we have installed our um, new peelings details in our kitchen and we are absolutely in love with the result. Uh, the tiles are very easy to do, uh, to install and uh, now our kitchen looks very clean, renewed and just absolutely beautiful. So if you are looking for new tiles for your kitchen, I really encourage you to um, consider the peeling stick. It's very easy and beautiful. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you for watching. Bye.